Hi, my name's Simon. Today we're going to have a walk around and a drive of this uh, 56 plate, so either two th late 2006 or early 2007 Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 station wagon that's done less than 58,000 miles. Hope you like it. So yes, 56 plate, so either very late 2006 or early 2007 uh, Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 station wagon. Finished in Keswick Green with white roof and boost alloys. Fitted with a matching set of uh, five Continental cross contact tyres. Um, standard station wagon spec, uh, except this one's got uh, checker plates on the wing tops uh, and a little bit around the rear end. Um, boost alloys, as we said, it's got side steps on it. It's in one, two, three, four, five, nine seater spec, center cubby box. Um, better stereo than standard uh, otherwise what else have we got um, adjustable tow pack with integrated rear step yeah bit of checker plate around the underneath the, um, the reversing light and the fog light that's about it um, rather lovely this one it is one of the very very last TD5s um, and it's done I think less than 58,000 miles. I haven't been through the history yet, but there's a massive box of history that's come with it. Um, and as far as we're aware, and this is just what we've been told by the previous owner, because I haven't confirmed it by looking at the history yet, um, it is actually an ex-military vehicle um, and was supplied to the Falkland Islands originally uh, for uh, the um, British forces out there. Probably used as a crew bus. It's not a, a Green Fleet vehicle, so it's not a frontline one. Uh, but probably used as a crew bus around the, around the Falklands. But um, the service history seems to be absolutely impeccable on it. Clearly, it's been repainted since it left military service. Um, the only reason I say that, A, because the paint is really nice and shiny, and B, because I can see a couple of runs in it that probably wouldn't have been acceptable when it was new. Um, so I suspect it has been repainted since it left military service. Um, I think it's only had one owner since it left the military as well, from memory. But again, I'll have to confirm that. Um, right, let's walk around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. So one of the very, very last TD5s. I think this is actually a 2007 one, actually. Um, I don't think I've had a later one in stock. Right, let's start from around the front end. As I say, it has been resprayed, but um, I think in the original colour, because it seems to be Keswick Green under the bonnet as well. We've got a small blemish on the bonnet just here. Uh, but otherwise, apart from one or two... Um, bloom marks just sort of down here it's uh it's pretty straight straightforward there looking down the near side looks very very straight down there i think we've got a little tiny bit of overspray just there it's obviously someone's uh, not us someone has repainted the front bumper at some point um looking got a little bit of discoloration on the near side front eyebrow here Looking under here, <sighs> up the A post, just a couple of corners. You can see there's a couple of runs in the paint on the um, on the vents, uh, and just down here, screen rubber looks pretty new. Screen itself, possibly a couple of very very tiny chips just around here, but otherwise all good near side door's got a very slight parking dink in it just there hasn't broken the paint and a little bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up on the base of the door uh, although it's a 2006 one there's also a little spot just coming up just there on the a post although it's a 2006 2007 one it has got earlier front doors on it so don't know why but they are the earlier type of front door as you can see by the edge there um, and they've obviously been repaired just down here. It's had a new channel put in the bottom of it, I think, by the look of it. Uh, interior wise, it's obviously low mileage. It's, you know, 57,000 odd miles, but it's probably had a lot of people jumping in and out of it over the years. So we have got a little bit of wear here and there. That seat's got a little nick in it in the backrest. The um, seat box rubber trim, as always, the edges have been taped over because they're worn on the edge really in a lot of ways it could do with a new complete seat box rubber um, trim section 
dash is all nice we've got phone holder up there as well headlining is very good cubby box has got a little bit of wear on the corner there again uh, b post has a couple of runs in the paint just down here and there's a small black mark just there on the near side rear door in the back here we've got a little bit of damage to the back of the near side front seat and say so just lots of people have been in and out of this and this um denim twill doesn't last particularly well it's fair to say uh passenger seat apart from a couple of marks on it is okay a little bit of stitching coming away just there and a small nick in the top of it just there um down the c post Alpine light rubber is a bit worn on the near side. Slight bit of paint loss just there on the back of the, uh, um, the trim. And the same up there. It's obviously just scuffed against something or other. And there's a little bit of bubbling on the tub top trim under the paint along here you can just about see it on the video in the back here uh, rear door card has seen a bit of life so it's a bit scratched and marked and there's obviously some scratching and marking along the rear edges rear seats look pretty new and again, the backrest for the um, rear seat has there's some tears that have been taped over in the backrest bit. Perhaps a set of seat covers wouldn't go amiss in fairness. Yeah, around the tail end there. Looking down the offside. Can't see much in the way of dents down there. Possibly a very slight depression in the barrel side just here. Um, very slight though if it is one and then underneath here a little bit of reaction on the closing panel there um, Alpine light trim is better on that side Rear door card here has got a mark just there. Uh, a little nick in the seat just there. Otherwise reasonable, but for a couple of marks on the seats. C post. Driver's door is all good. Fit of the driver's door could be very slightly better. But I'm being a bit picky there. A little bit of paint loss from people getting in and out of it on the modesty cover just there. Again, a couple of small runs in the paint. Run in the paint there. And again on the vent flaps. Then we'll have a look inside. Yeah, again, this door is an earlier type of door. Perhaps the military had front doors like that, I don't know. Um, the rear doors and the tailgate are all the later type. As we've said, um, seat box trims have been taped up. Um, and the driver's seat is all in very good shape all round. Again, slightly worn cubby box edge there. Yeah, 57,000 miles, and I think we're going to warrant that as correct, but I'll confirm that in the description. More modern stereo. Looks nice in Keswick Green. So, um, I think there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. 
or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information.